Richard Southern joins us now. And Richard, with the majority of Ontarians vaccinated, many are looking forward to big family meals over the holidays, but those are going to cost a little extra this year. Yeah, one month today, Christmas Day, Erica. I can't believe it. Oof. Unbelievable. I haven't so even we'll be sitting down. Yet. Yeah. I know we, we're going to talk in a minute about how people are procrastinating. We're not the only ones. But, you know, a, a month today, if you're celebrating Christmas, you're probably going to be sitting down for a nice Christmas dinner. And that dinner, experts say, is going to cost like the most ever this year. I mean, we've talked so much about how prices at the grocery store are rising. It's going to translate into a pricey meal. A, a, a Christmas dinner for 10 is pegged at just over $67 this year, up 14% from last year. This would be the second largest increase in the cost of a Christmas dinner in 36 years. A lot of the increase in prices are going to come down to your proteins. Those guys, the turkeys, they're costing 24% more this Christmas than they did last Christmas. You know, things like bacon and ham and all that, that's costing more. It's really only your, your cranberry sauce. If you buy a canned, Erica, that's costing a bit less. We've seen canned foods drop off, but pretty much everything else, uh, every other staple in that Christmas dinner getting more pricey this year. And we mentioned shopping. A new survey says offline shopping is making a big comeback this year, Richard. This is really interesting. I mean, we talked uh, last couple of years about, oh, we're, we're doing more and more holiday shopping online. Right. Not this year. Uh, Accenture has a survey out today saying 57% of Canadians plan to do the majority of their shopping in store. And the reason for that, Erica, is something you and I talk a lot about, a lot about in this segment, and that's the shipping delays and the inventory issues. People don't want to worry about that. They want to go to the store, grab it when they see it. Men more likely to shop in store than women. The other factor here, the fact that we're procrastinating. 47% say they plan on doing most of their shopping last minute this year. And well, if you're going to be last minute, you probably have to go to a, a buy it in store. That's yeah, you, right, Eric? That's me. Okay. And finally, news of higher interest rates has sent buyers scrambling, once again, sending house prices surging even higher. It's such a hot year for Canadian housing, and it's expected to get even hotter ahead of the spring. And the reason is... We're expecting a Bank of Canada interest rate hike at some point uh, in the spring. Analysis by CIBC Capital Markets uh, anticipates that the Canadian housing prices will surge again in the next couple of months ahead of this expected interest rate hike. In fact, we've heard from some mortgage brokers, particularly in the Toronto area, who say that they're getting mighty busy right now. Uh, Canadian home prices uh, skyrocketed some 31 percent year on year in March, softened a bit over the summer, but they're heating up again now. Average price in Toronto, Canada's biggest city, above 1.2 million. Rating agencies getting a bit worried about this. Fitch rating agency pegging Vancouver's housing market is 23% overvalued and Toronto's is 32% overvalued. So oh. going to get even hotter there over the winter months with housing, Erica. All right. Thanks for that report, Richard. That's business editor Richard Southern. Thanks.